Some rolling paper, same thing. I swear you niggas sound the same, saying the same thing. And if it's up, it's in the air, make it evaporate. I heard you dropped up off the porch, but ain't come past the gate. The only thing they run is running late, okay? Okay? Ah, uh, okay? Ah, uh, look, keep running. A few moments later. See only on six video exclusively obtained by NBC six shows the moment rapper Kevani Camilla Hicks fatally shoots her manager in Winwood. The shooting happened back in October. The video shows the rapper and another man arguing next to a white car suddenly gets physical. Two men seen on top of Hicks pinning her down. At one point she gets up, walks away, reaches into a bag and starts shooting multiple times. Her manager does not make it out alive. The other man appears to drive off in the white car, run and runs Hicks over. She's now suffering from broken ribs. Police ended up charging the rapper with murder in the second degree. She appeared in court this morning and will soon be released and placed on house arrest with a $50,000 bond. Hicks claims it was all in self-defense. Well, damn, uh, artist Kivani, man. Um, I'm going to be honest, bro. The way... Let me say this, and I'm not trying to disrespect, you know, the gentleman, her manager who lost his life, whether that was a boyfriend manager or, you know what I mean? Because what the fuck are y'all putting, why are you putting your hands on her for? But she stood on business, bro. That little, she she got out the car, they, them, he putting hands on her, the other nigga got out trying to, like, it almost looked like they was trying to abduct her ass, but like, bitch, you ain't going nowhere, and she... Stood on business, bro. Um, if that was my little sister, if that was my mama, if that was my cousin, if that was my daughter, I'd be like. <laughs> now, I'm not happy you had to smoke a nigga, but you had to smoke him. You had to get him up off. Like, and, and, and she's she's claiming that she they, niggas been putting her hands on her. So she probably was fed up. And the only problem I think is that like they trying to like the prosecutor probably said like you you was walking away they wasn't chasing you but um she she they said she made bond and shit so it's like i mean she stood on business bro i can't even be, I, I really honestly can't be mad at her bro she stood on business bro like that's a woman for one bro like and y'all goofy as fuck y'all i know y'all know her so y'all didn't know she was scrapped like that but y'all shouldn't have been doing what you, or, you know what I mean? Don't put your hands on that girl like that. If she's she trying to leave the label or leave you or that's like some controlling shit, bro. And she, and, and I, I want to say this to you, Kavani. The level of composure when you was letting that bitch go, she, professional. Letting that bitch go. Walking, walking, that is walk, that's what you call walk down activities right there. Why y'all put y'all hands on her? And if that, and like she said, we don't know. We don't know until the case go on and go, you know what I mean? The details come out. But she's saying, nigga, that won't the first time. But she definitely stepped on, bro. I mean, but he asked for it. You know what I mean? Um, she probably like was walking away like, man, these niggas, you know, she probably got fed up. Like, no, nah, these niggas ain't gonna do this shit to me. I gotta, I gotta put a hole in these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You see them niggas get the scattering. I'm gonna tell you this one thing about it. I don't care who the toughest gangsters is, who who said they the hardest. When them shots go off and the nigga ain't prepared to return fire, 
Niggas is taking cover. I don't give a fuck who you is, nigga. <laughs> nigga, when them shots go off and nigga ain't in a position to return fire, and even if you got to return fire, you still got to take cover. You know what I'm saying? But niggas, see, they, they played her for pussy. They played her for pussy. I feel like, I, I don't know the story I'm just saying. From my opinion, for them, the comfortability of them to do that shit and then just to, like, walk away. Like, you know what I mean? Be cool. They weren't even thinking, oh, she about to let it ring. She let that bitch, rah, rah, rah. She, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Had the man run up on the car. And I'm not making fun of his death. I'm just saying, I don't condone this to niggas, you know, putting their hands on women, especially in doing that type. Like, bro, that's weird, bro. I can't, how can I feel now? If she would've just smoked, bro, like, for no reason, then I'd be like, all right, bitch, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that bitch, you crazy. But she did what she had to do, man. Um, this probably gonna build, if she beats the case because she got bond now, and they, get, they, only, they give it, I ain't gonna say only, because second degree murder is bad too, but she didn't get first degree, she got second degree murder. Um, if she come from under this, you can look for her to be like <laughs> one of the next big female artists. And she on camera letting that bitch go on a motherfucker who trying to, you know what I mean, hurt her, essentially, nigga. You feel me? Um, y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. Like, comment, subscribe, notification case bell, man, I'm gone. Yeah. Hey, what it do, what it do, man. I appreciate you making it this far in the video. Please, please, please do me one solid. Go below to the link in the description and follow my second channel, IQ Shahi's Revenge. We on the road to 5K. Yeah.